Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to congratulate all three of our remaining players. It's quite an accomplishment to outlast 8,660 players to get to this point. We resume play today with 25 minutes and 20 seconds left in level 42. The blinds are 1.5 million and 3 million with a 3 million big blind ante. Danielle, are you ready? Players, are you ready? Let's shuffle up and deal. The World Series of Poker to date is the most prestigious poker tournament series in the world. This event attracts an estimated 30,000 people to Las Vegas every summer, all with the same dream, to win a WSOP bracelet. In 1970, at the Binion's Horseshoe, Benny Binion took seven of the best poker players and had them play in an extended cash game, with the winner being voted on by the other players at the table. After very little debate, Johnny Moss was elected best all-around player, awarded the title, and officially announced the first winner of the World Series of Poker. For the first time in history, we would like to present you on the Las Vegas Strip, this beautiful Johnson 2022 World Series main event bracelet. Congratulations from all of us at Sears Entertainment. It wasn't until 1975 that the gold bracelet was introduced to the game. Brian Sailor Roberts was the first person to win a physical gold bracelet, followed shortly after by the one and only Doyle Brunson. Private game where the people are there looking for the excitement. You know, they're not there for the money usually. They're there just to have a good time and they're looking for an excuse to get in the pot. They're looking for an excuse to call you. And uh, it was my experience that when I played in games like that, you get called 95% of the time. You can hardly ever bluff. Doyle won back-to-back -back main events in 1976 and 1977. The World Series is responsible for not only creating legends of the game like Texas Dolly, but it also created valued traditions that have lasted for over five decades. The main event is a tournament held once a year by the series and brings in a field of sometimes upwards of 8,000 entrants. Obviously, you'll be playing for a lot of uh, cash prizes. And uh, this right here, this is the most expensive trophy or bracelet in all of sports. And this is something that everyone here was supposed to be playing for, but I've gotten attached to it as I walk down the aisle, so I think I might actually hold on to this. Um, for a little bit of a while. Who, who am I kidding? This is, this is definitely something that's going to go to the Victor Goes to Spoils, as well as getting your name with all the great legends of poker. In 2003, an accountant from Tennessee, Chris Moneymaker, won an $86 online satellite qualifying him for the $10,000 main event. Chris did the once impossible, turning his $86 investment into just under $2.5 million. Creating what we know today as the moneymaker effect. This is beyond fairy tale. It's inconceivable. Binion's was home to these players and traditions for over 35 years. Until 2005, the series moved to a new location, the Rio. At first, people were worried about this transition. I mean, after all, do people really like change? But look at what happened. Records were broken, and new legends were made. And that's seven more. 2006 was the biggest WSOP main event to date. After playing 13 days straight and defeating a field of 8,773 people, Jamie Gold has done it! Jamie Gold won a prize of $12 million. In 2015, Cord Garcia won the biggest live tournament of all time with a course of four starting flights and a total of 22,374 entrants. I told them earlier I kind of treated it like a sat like a like a satellite to a 5,000 person tournament, and you got four shots to satellite in. Um, and then uh, once I bagged a bunch of chips, I was like, I have a really good shot at winning a 5,000 person tournament. So yeah. year after year, the WSOP has continued to bring in new players and attract the biggest prize pools in poker. 
In 2021, the WSOP attracted over 120,000 total entries, even after being shut down the year prior due to COVID restrictions. More than a half million Americans have been infected, and the death toll now tops 21,000. People were clearly eager to get back on the felt. After 17 years of carrying on the WSOP tradition, it is time to once again say goodbye and say hello to a new future. This year, the WSOP has come to the Las Vegas Strip. The Bally's Hotel and Casino will be rebranding itself as the Horseshoe Las Vegas and has become the new home to the World Series of Poker. What does this mean for the WSOP? Well, let's just say, history has a way of repeating itself. Oh, wow. Your stat all in, risking it all. Every decision, of course, magnified by the enormous payouts and the honor that goes along with winning this tournament. Of course, we as Poker Insiders, Donnie, will always remember who finished the second, but for m most people around the world, the winner is the only real star of the show. And they are playing heads up for $4 million. Yeah. We can safely assume that Edmonds is going to sort of go through all possible scenarios. What are some of the options he's considering here? Well, I think given the fact that he's already started thinking about this and, it, and his mannerisms when he started thinking about it, he initially is like misdraw. There are a bit of misdraws. There are heart draws that have missed. I, do you think he's laughing because if I call this and I'm right, it's going to be one of the sickest hands in main event history? Yeah, and then if I'm wrong, I'm going to look like a total idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're thinking, right? You're like, am I really going to do this heads up in the main event for $4 million? Wow. In a way, it's kind of leveling more with himself. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely playing against himself right now.